All right, so what is going on everyone? Uh, the last rod building video I made, I was making some offshore trolling rods. On those, I did what's called a, an epoxy ramp. It's something that you can add to a rod uh, in place of a winding check. And if you don't know what a winding check is, it's that little black kind of rubber, uh, rubber ring that you see on a lot of rods, right? So instead of adding those winding checks, I did an epoxy one. Uh, and their nickname kind of epoxy ramp, probably other nicknames for how other guys do it. But what I'm gonna try and do is, I'm gonna do a one take just because I got this one comment. I'm gonna go through, I'm gonna show you exactly what I do um, on these. As you can see, um, right now I have a rod spinning. This is actually a seven foot 11. Uh, it's actually a bass rod. Um, it's a crankbait rod, super fast tip, but instead uh, I don't have any fresh water near me or any fresh water that I have any kind of desire to fish. So we're gonna make us like a tarpon rod. This thing is gonna be made seven foot 11. It's half ounce to two ounce lures. Um, and we're gonna make it for throwing those big uh, DOA soft plastics, those three quarter ounce to one ounce DOA soft plastics. I'm actually gonna pair it up with an old school spin fisher. I put the Gomexis power knob on here. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna show you how I do these ramps. Uh, one thing you'll notice is that I got these taped off really well. So the tape is probably the most important thing if you're gonna do it exactly like I'm doing it. Um, just because that tape is going to keep this epoxy from running out of uh, either direction. Uh, we want clean, crisp lines when we're doing this, uh, and that can be kind of hard to get sometimes. But if you really put down that tape um, pretty well, pretty tight on that grip, because we're not doing any cork or anything on this rod, uh, we're not doing any cork, any foam, anything. Uh, we really just have tape overs underneath our reel seat. And then this is heat shrink. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put that epoxy in between, we're gonna put it in between all these places that are taped off. And that's gonna kind of, uh, gonna kind of lock in per se, I guess. It's gonna kind of lock in the heat shrink, or at least I hope it does. So anyways, we're gonna get on with it. Like I said, I'm trying to do this in one take. And two, also, we're doing this with uh, rod epoxy, epoxy glue. Not your wrapping finish that you use on your guides. This is the epoxy glue, uh, two part, one to one. And then two, I also added some black pigment. I've been taking my time mixing this. I've noticed over the years, uh, I've done it, or I've only been building for like two years, but uh, within those two years, I've mixed this stuff too fast and it will start smoking and get piping hot It'll burn your fingertips uh, through the outside of this. So we're going real slow, mixing that pigment in, and then I'll show you what we do. We're about to apply this pigment and get going with it. This stuff dries super quick, so that's nice. If you're in a, I like doing this because I'm gonna build this rod in a total of like three days to use this weekend. So have the seat and everything set right now. Just mixing this epoxy and we'll get to it. All right, this stuff is mixed really well. All right, now we're gonna be using a brush just like you would for a regular epoxy. My trash can is super far away. This stuff is looking really good. Got a good consistency. We're gonna use this right now, but after this is set on here, um, after you get it set, you can actually go over it. What I do is I go over it with um, like rod wrapping finish. When I'm like the same rod wrapping finish that I'm wrapping eyes with, just, just to be careful and be sure. So, and then this stuff is super thick. So what you can kind of do, but it's also self leveling. So as you can see, I'm kind of just, I'm not really, see, and this is where the variable speed comes in handy because I can slow it down because I'm not really, I'm more so just wanting to make sure I get this epoxy everywhere, right? I'm not, I'm not trying to 
be super fast with it. I'm actually dropping kind of the epoxy and dollops and I'm gonna let it self level itself. That's why that variable speed is important right there. Look at that. It's already leveling out pretty well. But we'll add some more. Okay. Sorry for throwing you around here. Like I said, I'm gonna try and do this in one take. We're at five minutes. Oh my God. It's a little up close and personal. When we'll get too close, you'll see my bald spots. So, that, oh my God. I got epoxy on there. So then I noticed this one's dripping, so I'm going too slow. So you gotta play with, really helps have a variable speed right here. Because whatever consistency this epoxy is, you can kind of play with it to make sure you get the consistency right where it self-levels, but it also doesn't drip all drip off. There we go. And this stuff may be dripping off because I, I've added too much. Oh God, I gotta clean y'all off real quick. This gonna be the last freaking rod building video I make. This is not easy. So those two are good. So now we're gonna add, don't look right here. I want y'all to see how thin I'm getting up top. Okay. And this stuff applies very similar to epoxy. Uh, if you've been building, you'll notice how kind of epoxy, once you give it a line to kind of grab onto, you can kind of load it up and stack it. So it's the same thing right here. If I get everything wet with this stuff right off the bat, I can like stack, uh, can stack this epoxy by kind of dropping it on it. And then once I drop these dollops on it, it will self-level itself for us. Got a little portion right there that's, there we go. Oh, and uh, you gotta be careful because this stuff is, uh, I guess or you could say this stuff is runny enough stuff is runny enough that it will uh, drip off. Drip down or droop whenever you're applying it. Like for instance, you're gonna have to, we're gonna really rip the uh, tape off this stuff super quick. There, I'm getting everything wet and now I'm just gonna drop dollops on it and kind of make sure these dollops that are getting on it are spreading kind of evenly make sure they're just leveling out okay I like the look of that all around if I'm being Honest. See, this epoxy, I don't know. I don't know what it is. I might not be mixing it right, but this stuff is getting hot in my fingers already. All right, so now what we're gonna do, you can see me. Now we're gonna rip this tape off super fast. I'm actually not gonna film this, but I'll do it right after I'll show you what it looks like. All right, so we have it on there. I'll show you what I'm talking about. And see on that, we have super clean, crisp lines. That's a little runny, but that's right above. That's hard to get, but look how crisp that is right there. Same right there, super clean lines. So yeah, that's a two take video actually, but that's how I do these epoxy ramps. Um, I don't do a lot of them. Uh, these are like personal builds, and when I do a personal build, to be honest, I'm building for application. So. 
like I said, I got, you know, I got a four ounce rod for four ounce lures, up to four ounce lures, I got a three ounce rod. And now it's gonna be a two ounce rod. So really, I'm just making it harder on myself because I'm gonna be taking like 30 rods down to the end of the jetty. But anyways, that's it. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. If you have any other comments or questions about this, uh, let me know down in the comments. If you like this rod building stuff, uh, tell me what you wanna see next. Thinking about doing a giveaway, um, just for once we reach maybe like 1200 or 1500 subscribers, uh, I had a really good video that kind of popped off. So that's cool. I got a lot of, uh, a lot of new followers now, uh, new subscribers. So think about doing this for like a giveaway, building like a inshore rod or maybe like an offshore rod, kind of like the one I'm actually going to be, uh, slide lining. I still got to make that video up, but got a video of us catching a king on a slide line on a custom rod. So anyways, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. And uh, yeah, I'll catch you on the next video.